Hello creative friends, I'm Anastasia and I'm so excited to show you how I took some simple items from the thrift store and elevated them to look high-end and beautiful. Let's get into it. I found this super cute marble tray at the thrift store for just one dollar. It has these tiny feet that raise it up just a little and it's the perfect size for a candle or as an accent piece. So now I'm just giving it a cleanup like I always do with thrifted items. Now my initial thought was to remove the feet. They have this yellow glue around them. I quickly discovered that that glue was just not budging and I didn't want to risk breaking the marble. So I thought we could just leave the existing legs and elevate them to make them look better. So to do that, I'll be using these wooden beads that I got from Dollar Tree and attaching them on the feet like this. But first, I'll be spray painting them gold with this metallic gold paint. I did two coats of the gold and then I sealed them with this clear matte protective spray. Once those dry, I'll be using hot glue to attach them to the feet. Some glue did come out the side, but I was able to peel it off quite easily. But overall, I'm so happy with this flip. It really elevates the piece to look expensive and quite high end. And while the yellow glue is still there underneath, you really can't see it unless you turn it over. Here is the final result. This next piece I picked up at the Goodwill outlet. At first glance, I didn't love the color, but I loved the shape. Turns out this is a piece originally from at home and was just $5 new, but I got it for 99 cents. So while this wasn't originally a very expensive piece, we are going to give it a makeover and make it look like it could be on the shelves at West Elm or Pottery Barn. I definitely wanted to paint this, but I was worried the paint wouldn't stick to this smooth glass jar. So I'm giving it a sand with some 50 grit to create a rough finish. And the blue tint actually started coming off. Now just cleaning it up with rubbing alcohol. And then spraying it with a coat of flat black spray paint. But I'd recommend doing two coats. After that dries, then I'm spraying two coats of this stone texture spray paint. It's my first time trying this out and I'm very excited about it. This is how it looked after just one coat. And this is after a second coat. This texture is amazing. I recommend trying this out if you want a really quick and easy DIY. I'm sealing it with some clear matte protective spray. And now it's time for the final reveal. I found this vase at my local thrift store that looked like it was already someone's DIY project. It had originally been a glass vase, but someone had already painted it white. And for $1, I really couldn't pass up the chance to try to elevate this even more. Lately, I've been seeing more and more of these ceramic vases with these horizontal lines around them. This one from Magnolia is just so beautiful and those lines add in a bit of subtle interest. This one from Pottery Barn has a bit more of an obvious texture. I love the plastered look of these, especially this larger one. So I'm going to recreate my own version of this look. 
The paint was already chipping away, so it needed to be redone anyways. I'm starting by cleaning up this vase really well. Then I'm taking some twine that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use that to create the textured lines going around the vase. I'm just using some hot glue to attach the twine to the vase and I'm eyeballing it but trying to get it as level as possible all the way around. I'm going to create two lines but you can do as many as you want. There were a few times that I glued down a piece of twine and I just didn't think it was as even as I wanted it to be, but the great thing about hot glue is that it's pretty forgiving when it comes to taking it off slick surfaces, especially after it's just dried. When you get to the end, you can just cut off the excess. To get that gorgeous plastered texture that we're going for, I'm going in with some patching plaster and I'm trying a new technique today. I am just taking it with my hand and smearing it all over the vase and I'm going in a horizontal direction with this because I want my ridges in the plaster to go all horizontally around the vase. Make sure to get inside the neck as well because you want it to look like a seamless piece of pottery. So make sure that every visible part of the vase is covered in that plaster. I let the first coat dry and then I went in with a second coat. And I feel like this gave me a very full coverage that completely covered the twine and also gave me a very layered and extra textured finish on the piece. Now I'm taking some 50 grit sandpaper and just smoothing out any areas that are lumpy. There were a few places where some clumps of plaster dried, so that's mostly what I'm taking off. I personally am going to leave most of the texture on here because that's just what I like. To get my base color, I'm taking this gorgeous beige that I got from the mist tinted paint section at the hardware store, and I'm just painting that all over the vase. Just look at that difference between how stark white the plaster is and that gorgeous neutral beige color. And once again, don't forget to paint the inside rim so it has a seamless look. This next part I was very excited to try. So I got the stone texture spray paint that's in this beige color. I did two coats of the spray, letting it dry in between. Then after that was dry, I sprayed on this matte clear protective spray. To style, I'll be using some gorgeous faux rosemary stems that I found at Walmart for just 97 cents each. Walmart had a great selection of fall foliage to choose from, and this price is cheaper than Dollar Tree, so I was very impressed. Also for styling, I'll be using this Dinner Parties book from William Sonoma that I picked up at a thrift store for $1. And now it's time for the final review. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and want to see more thrifted decor flips, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to check out my other videos for more ideas and inspiration. See you next time.